All right, Jalen, so your first fight with Bellator. Tell us uh, how everything's going so far. Uh, everything is great on weight. Uh, Going to get some rehydration a little later and probably hit some more, you know, a little more weight cut. But other than that, everything's great. Love it. And uh, all the preparations with, with the pandemic going on, how does it affect your game plan? Honestly, it really hasn't. Uh, we I've been training ever since the pandemic started. I was training before the pandemic ever since my last amateur fight. So I've been really prepared for this moment for a, long, a while now, since January, honestly. <laughs> And uh, can you tell us anything that you've, you've done to prepare for this opponent in particular? Smash. That's it. I, I, that's all I see, and that's all I'm trying to go in there and do. Hurt him, damage him in any way possible. All right, we'll go to Donna. Hey, Jalen, how's it going? Howdy. There's never been a more exciting time to be a bantamweight in MMA, right? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of opportunity on the rise, and... I, ex I ex I'm gonna, you know, I'm opportunist, so I'm gonna seize it all. Yeah. There is in in all the the various divisions, be it the UFC, be it in, in Bellator, where you are. There's so many names. Anyone sticking out for you? Oh, uh, uh, Patchy was going back and forth with me a couple months before his fight with uh, with the champion now. Uh, Archuleta. So, you know, eventually when I'm when I'm six and oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. I want him on my seventh. <laughs> anything, anything for uh, maybe James Gallagher? He doesn't impress me. Not a, not in the slightest. Are you excited about making your your pro debut and obviously under the Bellator banner as well? I mean, it's a, a huge opportunity. You're opening the show in in a time where MMA is being watched more than ever because it's one of the the sports that has been back. Yeah, this is an exciting time for you to be making your pro debut. Yeah. Oh yes, oh yes, I'm excited. Put on a show. I, I want to show the world that I'm a martial artist. I'm not just a fighter, and we're gonna do everything in our power to prove that. Thank you, buddy. All right, Gareth. Good evening, Jalen from London. Gareth A. Davis calling. Um, you're 23. You're making your debut. We don't know a lot about you yet. Tell us how you've come into the sport and why it drew you. You're the new breed, as you say. Why did it draw you in? Well, it's a long story, but uh, we'll, we'll start from the beginning of just bullies. Like, I feel like most fighters there's a time when you're bullied and there's a time where you had to fight back and there's a time when you know in middle school I was bringing the whole crowd to fight one bully that everyone thought I was just going to lose to and I ended that was not a good day for him so that was that was the start of everything and ever since then I knew um I wanted to be a MMA fighter ever since a girl a girl showed me my first arm bar so I, I was like this is dope this is sick so yeah all right, Lenny. How's it going, Jalen? How are you? I am doing fine, my man. How are you? Yeah, glad to hear. I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. So you're nine and zero as an amateur in MMA. Seven finishes in nine fights. Can the fans expect to finish in your professional debut this Thursday? Absolutely. Straightforward answer. I like it. Thank you so much, and good luck this Thursday. Thank you. Uh, we'll go back to Gary. Sorry, sorry, Jalen. I, I, I don't know what happened. I got cut off and you were just telling me back in middle school, you were getting bullied. It was a yes. fascinating start to your story. Yes. Yeah. So I, um, everyone thought I was going to lose to this, you know, this renowned, you know, the popularity contest never stops no matter where you go. Mm -hmm. And since then I, I the, he brought the whole school I had four friends with me well one was my brother so I had two friends with me and uh, ended up beating you know beating him in front of the whole middle school and never got caught though so that was awesome but it was always fighting bullies growing up and learning to defend myself in peculiar situations because I was just, I was a skinny guy I'm, a, I'm still a skinny guy so, so on that day when, when he presumably he was the school bully then and he was putting his weight around, probably a much bigger guy than you as well. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm still, he was what, maybe a couple inches taller, but you can tell he had more meat on his bones. But as skinny guys, we cut 
you know, sway, sway, it hurts way more when we hit you. And what, what, what did you know at that point? Had you kind of known in your life at that point, you were always going to, you know, you weren't going to back down if, if you know what I mean. Oh yes. Um, I knew that any confrontation that was going to be brought upon my doorstep that I would confront in full force and I wouldn't be scared. Um, yeah, ever since that day, it was, it, I mean, ever since that day, I, I kind of just catapulted and took everything more serious. And I, I got the first UFC game and I was just like, dope, okay, these are fighters. Like, these, this is real. Like, I was watching WWE and I was like, no, this is real, the real, you know, the real stuff. So ever since then, I was like, that's what I want to do. And I defended myself in any bully situation. I'm sure you're going to tell this story over and over. Did you um, did you have to be the man in your house at a very young age, or you no, know? no, um, no, my dad. But my dad did not let us win. My dad was yeah. very. We would always wrestle with my dad. We grew up in a real, you know, two two other brothers. One was my age, and our dad would <laughs> our dad would hold us between his legs. And he would he would pinch our noses, and we would try to wrestle and wrestle, wrestle. He would never let us win, and that's the and that's the that's the key there. You know, there is not really. I wasn't raised in a household where uh, we bred weakness. We we're built to, on strength and honor. And ever since then, I was just like, we just continue going. We continue to push and fight forward, no matter what. Well, you sound amazing. Do you feel like you have a genuine destiny? In- in this sports then absolutely absolutely yes I, I, I thank you for hearing that too no no i can't wait to see you fight and i can't wait to meet you as well you sound amazing thank you i appreciate you all right our last question comes from steve june Hello, Jalen. Thank you for the time today. Earlier on the call, you mentioned that you don't rate James Gallagher very highly. He's 11 and 1 so far in his career, and you're just making your belt or debut. So, how have you formed that opinion, and what would you like to say to him if you actually get the chance to go face to face with him? Uh, well, I'm no disrespecter. I don't disrespect people. I just don't think that highly of people as well. I don't have expectations for anybody. The only person I expect highly of is myself. So if I saw him, I'd say, hey, you're an awesome fighter, and I would love to fight you. You know, it's all respect at the end of the day. I have no ill ill will or ill manner towards anybody. But I do not, you know, see him on my level because there's there's levels to this sport. And you'll, you guys will see that as time goes by. All right. Best of luck on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Jalen. Appreciate your time. We'll be joined shortly.